Okay, good morning and welcome to another video here in Iraqi Kurdistan. Today, I got another adventure on my hands. I'm heading from Erbil to Sleimani, about a three hour drive east of here. So I'm gonna head over to the bus station and get on one of these shared taxis and make my way to Sleimani. Now last night I was talking to the hotel owner and he was kind enough to actually take me to the bus station and make sure that I got on the right bus uh, heading that way. Amazing, thank you so much for doing this too. It's really my pleasure, All right, so this is Abu. He's been kind enough to take me to the bus terminal. All right, so the real reason why Habu's coming with me right now is to make sure that I don't go through Kirkuk on my way to Sleimani. Um, that's because Kirkuk is controlled by the Iraqi government, which I don't have the right visa for. Uh, so we just have to make sure we go around that uh, in order for my safety. <laughs> you have money? Yeah, yeah, I have. I would, yeah. You've been so generous with no, me, no, so. No, no, This is really my pleasure. Thank you so much. It's I a pleasure. cannot, yeah, my thank pleasure. you enough. It's a pleasure. My pleasure. Anytime. Yeah. And hopefully we will see you. Yes, you absolutely. Back. Absolutely. Okay. Take care, Abu. You too. Have a good one. All right, so Abu made sure I got into the right taxi, even offered to pay. Just super, super generous. Such a nice guy. Uh, but we're in the right taxi now, and now we make the three hour journey to Sleimani. <laughs> All right, we have arrived in Sleimani after about a three hour drive. That drive was actually so beautiful. Going through the mountains, taking the back roads to avoid Kirkuk. Everything went really, really smoothly. Uh, no problems. So we now have set foot here in Sleimani. Uh, and have a little bit of time to explore today and then most of the day tomorrow to check out all that this city has to offer. So let's dive head first and get a look at this amazing city. All right, just had lunch at two different places, had some pide, I think it's pretty similar to what I had in Turkey, and then some falafel to top it off. Uh, so now back to walking around and checking out the everyday street life here in Sleimani. Now I'm walking through the bazaar and they have a live animal section and they have monkeys, uh, just turkeys roaming around and a bunch of chickens in cages. I mean, this is, this is insane. Um, look at all these birds here. Kind of wild stuff. Uh, it's a little sad in some ways, uh, but part of their culture. So just Gotta explore it and see it. Man, this is just wild here. Okay, 
So we <laughs> and the bazaar seemingly takes over the entire city. They have huge sections. You can see like the vegetables are in this section and then they have meats uh, further down the way. Just so many different shops, places to buy stuff. It's actually incredible uh, to see all of this. So I know I've heard a lot about it, but it really just blows my mind how much culture is here. Uh, I read a lot about the Middle East culture and how unique it is, but it is on full display here. Uh, it's really, really awesome to see all of it. And there's one thing that is kind of unique. It's a lot of men walking around, not a lot of women. Uh, most of the people that I meet or interact with are all men. Uh, so I find that to be pretty interesting walking around here. You'll visit during the... Inshallah, hi, what there is? Inshallah. Yes, yes. For how long you'll stay here? Uh, one more night. One more night? Yeah. Like you'll be back to... Uh, back to Erbil and then to Egypt. Egypt, okay. okay. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Okay, thank you, thank you so you much, guys. Yeah, I appreciate you it. You are welcome, Joe. Yeah. Yep. You have See you around. Time. Any time you want to come back to Kurdistan, you are the most welcome. I really you can appreciate call it. Call us even before coming from there. Just call us to prepare ourselves to, for a good reception. Amazing, amazing. Okay. I can't thank you enough. Yeah. And Sanjay, yeah. if you need anything, call me or Mr. Bunner. Will do. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you, you as are well. Most welcome. Thank you. Send Send you boss. Take care. So whenever I stop and get talking to people, it's very common that they want to give me their phone number and they just tell me what if I have any issues, any questions, concerns, just give them a call and they'll be happy to help. So just goes to show the hospitality here. Uh, everybody just so welcoming and just wanting to extend a hand and help me out in any way they can. All right, so walking down the street, these guys uh, invited me in. They're making these desserts nice and sweet. So just offer me to try it. Very good, very good. Very sweet, very good. That's the maker. <laughs> mm, delicious. And they gave me this and did not let me pay. So again, just showing the generosity of these incredible people. So Sleimani is the second biggest city in Iraqi Kurdistan behind Erbil. Now it's also written and pronounced in like five different ways. Uh, so you have Sleimani, Sulaimania, uh, Sleimani, and it's all written differently, but it's all the same city. Awesome, let's try this. <laughs> let's try this out. Oh, different. <laughs> it's good. It's good. <laughs> it is. It's like sour. Exactly. Sweet but good. Yeah. All right. So I'm walking. Picked up a new friend, Alan. Uh, he was kind enough to pay for my drink. So Alan is giving me a little bit of a tour here in Sleimani. Uh, very helpful because I don't really know <laughs> any of the names, any of the places. Okay. What are your thoughts about America? America the most beautiful country and have a uh, smart people yeah i'm proud of you wow wow that you are from in there <laughs> <laughs> okay all day i've been walking around and i said that it was only men that i was seeing out all right alan why is is that because our traditional like that uh, woman is different and man is different for example, if you want to bring your wife or your sister or uh, any friend, you can bring them to here. So the women and family have to sit over here and then all the men 
sit back here. So women and men can't be together. That's why there's just so many men out and about instead even, of the women. Even our WC is different. <laughs> wow. <laughs> All right, one question that I have been wondering is what do the people of Kurdistan think of Iraq? Look, uh, of course, all the people love them country, but because of government, because of, uh, how can I say, because of the bad thing that usually you can't see, it usually uh, appear from you, you will hate your country, you can't, yani, uh, you can't improve yourself, you can't reach that, reach that point that you want in your life. So because of that, we are, we all, Iraq, hate our country. So you don't you don't like Iraq or you do? No. No, you don't. No, we don't. Okay. And uh, because of that, we choose outside more than here. We want outside more than here. Yeah, you want independence. Exactly. And ninety something percent of the people in Kurdistan voted for independence. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Okay. So then, what do you think then of like the flag? So you have the Iraq flag and then the Kurdistan flag. So like, what do you think of that? Does that bother you? Does that... Exactly. It okay. bothers me, but I don't have anything to say. Because all the time I can see, I, I see it and I became bad, I became upset. Mm -hmm. Wow. <laughs> Very interesting. So, okay. American Very interesting. flag is the best. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so nice much, man. You. It was so nice Thank to meet you. you. Yeah. Nice to meet you. Thank you. Yeah, take bye care, bye. man. You see too. ya. All right, so that was Alan. What an awesome guy. So kind of him to take some time out of his day. Uh, to walk me around, show me a couple of things, and just talk and have a conversation. So hopefully you guys were able to take something away from that uh, and what he said about here and about America is very, very interesting. Okay, so before the sun sets here, I just want to take a minute and touch on the safety here in Iraqi Kurdistan, since that was everyone's biggest concern about me coming here was that is it safe or am I going to be in danger? And I can honestly say that this is probably one of the safest uh, travel destinations I've ever been to. No joke. Uh, I walking around, I feel really, really safe. Uh, I'm walking around with a $3,000 camera setup and then a $400 GoPro with my iPhone just hanging out. Uh, I don't feel that anybody is here to try and pickpocket me even though there's thousands and thousands of people. Uh, no one's trying to take advantage. All the cabs, they say the same price. Nobody's trying to upcharge and scam me. Uh, there's no gypsies and very, very few people trying to sell you stuff. And when they do, it's not like in your face like Europe. So it's very pleasant walking around here. And I've felt safe the entire time. I feel completely normal. Uh, nobody seems to care. And that's the way I feel like travel should be. I feel like I'm getting the true authentic experience and that's thanks to the safety here. There's police everywhere, uh, a lot of armed guards. So it's just very helpful, very ensuring that I'm safe walking around here. Uh, so that's for that. Don't believe any of the US Department of State, the level four travel warning. I think that's a bunch of bullshit if you want my opinion on Iraqi Kurdistan. Uh, so don't listen to the media. This is where you gotta come to get the other side. And I think the other side is so, so beautiful. Okay, just had a nice big dinner and things are starting to close up here outside of this main street so i think i'm gonna make my way back to the hotel to conclude today uh, but we'll pick it up tomorrow morning again from Sleimani for some more content before heading back to Erbil. okay good morning from day two here in Sleimani. i have the morning here before having to head back to the taxi station to get a taxi all the way back to Erbil in order to catch my flight very very early 
on Wednesday morning. But I have the morning here to explore a little bit more of this amazing city. Uh, so let's keep on walking around and see what we can find. So just walking around here, it's kind of hard to process all of this. I mean, these people live such drastically different lives than we do back in the United States. But I think that's what makes travel the most valuable thing in life, is getting to experience all of this, getting to indulge in it, and just interacting with people that are so culturally different from me. This is the furthest I've ever been away from home. I'm damn near halfway around the world from Phoenix, Arizona. It doesn't get much further than this, but what do I find? The nicest people I've ever come across, incredible food, vibrant cities, and people just living their everyday lives just like we do. So we can be thousands and thousands of miles away, but we all share the same similarities and differences, and getting to compare and contrast those is why I love to travel. I feel like I just get smarter and smarter uh, the more I walk around different places in the world. So that's just a quick little takeaway from my time here. And now I'm going to make my way back to the hotel to conclude my time here in Sleimani. But what an incredible city here in Iraqi Kurdistan. The people just the most friendly I've ever met, so generous and so caring to me, always willing to help. Uh, but once I get back there, I'm going to start making my way back to Erbil. Uh, so we'll pick it up there for a final recap here on all of Iraqi Kurdistan. Yeah. Awesome, thank you so much. Thank you. Okay, we made it back to Erbil after a three hour taxi ride. It's a really easy process, really cheap, just very easy to get from one city to the other. Now we have a flight to catch in several hours, so unfortunately that's going to wrap up this vlog. But I mean, wow, uh, what more can I say about Iraqi Kurdistan? This place is hands down the most unbelievable place I've ever traveled to. So I'm very sad to be leaving, but I'm super grateful that I was able to explore this part of the world. I learned more than I could have ever imagined, and I met the most amazing and generous people I've ever come across. So I might have to do a separate recap video, kind of going in depth on how I spent four days here, how I got around, what I saw, what I did, etc. cetera. Uh, but yeah, unfortunately now it's time for me to go to the airport and head to my next destination, which I'm super excited for. But man, I will never forget my time spent here in Iraqi Kurdistan. So that's gonna do it from this vlog. I hope you guys enjoyed this as much as I did and were able to take away a few things along the way but I'm very excited to get to my next destination. So thanks as always for watching guys and we'll see you guys in the next video from there.